Well, hello there. What you're seeing here is my um, modicum extruder is printing out. Well, I'm using it to power my Delta printer, which has now allowed me for the first time to run uh, my printer at 100 millimeters a second. That's not extrusion sh speed, that's print head speed. That's 0.3 mil thick layers running at 100 mil a second. So it's not bad. Uh, at this point, I will keep pushing the boundaries. I I did test this thing out to probably what I would thought maybe around 300 millisecond or more but uh, I can't verify that because what I did was I just literally sped up the printer to like 600 percent and it kept printing you saw a quality difference but not too great actually and um, well I made some final revisions to it and I'm about to release modicum version 1 uh, my modicum extruder is a uh, belt driven type it's a 2 to 1 ratio doesn't have any lash and uh, I printed out my final beta and uh, tweaked it a little bit by hand now I did the tweaks in CAD and uh, now I'm printing out the final version of it I can't wait to show you guys it's actually coming along really nicely um, I will start most likely retailing this extruder if there's any interest and uh, see where it goes from there um, one of the things I have to do is actually put in a, a proper spool guide on there because I changed my spool type a bit and just to show you the actual extruder on how it's working well there it is there it is I made some small changes here and there I mean the, the final product is basically gonna look like this the belt is nice and tight and it's spinning very nicely I did notice that at least my hand thermometer the stepper is actually running cooler the precision is actually pretty high there's absolutely no play to this and there will be a knob here to help spin uh, the thread in but other than that that's that's my extruder in a nutshell uh, pardon the lighting lighting I don't have very great lighting here I'm gonna be putting in a filter here to help guide this as well as clean out the filament so that's coming as the next print you just have to design it Okay then, talk to you later. Well, it's really late. I finally printed, assembled, and put together version one of the extruder. I'm using beta six on my printer here. And uh, this is version one, completed. This should be plug and play for my printer. I can take this, two screws, bolt in fitting, put in the plug and just feed it filament. I created this handle over here that works on a pinch. It's just two three mil screws. Everything is five mil on this it's aligned the belts tension properly it's nice and tight but it's extremely smooth and that's what it's supposed to be like the smoother the better I'm probably gonna cut these screws down this one well it's actually precise enough that I don't need a spring the plastic gives just enough to compensate for it the gear in there is perfect 
I mean, doesn't move much, so the filament will get a little bit more compressed or less compressed depending on size variation, but in my experience, it's not been a problem. This is the second or third, this is my third type of extruder that I've designed that does not use any springs or any sort of fixtures, just the plastic will give enough. The whole point of this was to have something that has absolutely no lash and this has it. None. None. So, hopefully you guys like it. What do you guys think? Put a comment below. Let me know. Stay tuned for the video of this in full on action what it's uh, older brother behind their uh, updated as well to the specifications there's a few things that have changed inside that should make this a lot better low friction high torque and believe it or not this printer printed this 3 mil, 0.3 mil layer height at uh, 100 mil a second and the finish is not bad I mean this is supposed to be a structural component to me I don't care what the surface finish looks like but it's not bad it's as good as anything I've seen I wonder if I can push it to 120 to 150 mil a second that would be good how do you like the handle on this thing? Yes, every square millimeter of this thing was designed by me. Everything. Unique design. I borrowed a bunch of ideas, to be honest with you. There's always ideas floating around. Can't reinvent the wheel, but you can always make it better. Alrighty. Put a comment below. Subscribe if you like seeing this type of stuff. And uh, let me know. What do you think? Do you think a uh, belt type extruder is even worth the money? Or do you guys want geared extruders? I, I personally don't like geared extruders. I had a uh, slanted gear extruder before. I had very little lash, but compared to this, the same settings that I had on that, I can back them way down and get no blobbing. Well, virtually no blobbing anyway. In either case, let us know. Have a great one. Bye.